So game four between the Oilers and Kings last night. Kings have a chance to take a commanding 3-1 series lead and put the Oilers in a really tough spot. Let's break down the game. Just under midway through the first, Ayafalo gets the puck over to Fiala, who enters the zone and throws a quick shot on net. Skinner makes the initial save, but the rebound comes right out to Velarde, who puts it home to give the Kings a 1-0 lead. Later in the period, Moore gets the puck to Arvidsson on the wing, who makes a beautiful spin move to get past Deharnay. This creates a two-on-one situation with Arvidsson and Moore, and Arvidsson chooses to hold onto the puck and fire a quick shot, which beats Skinner 5-hole to give the Kings a 2-0 lead. Not even two minutes later, with the Kings on the power play, Kopitar throws the puck into the corner, and Nurse tries to clear it, but completely whiffs on the attempt. Then Deharnay tries to clear it, but he overskates it. Fiala then makes a heads-up play and gets to the puck before Nurse, finding Kopitar who is wide open in the slot, and Kopitar makes a great move to beat Skinner and give the Kings a 3-0 lead to close out the period. Skinner's night was over after allowing 3 goals and 11 shots, and Jack Campbell would come out to start the second period for the Oilers. Let's pick this one up just under 5 minutes into the second with the Oilers on the power play. McDavid gets the puck over to Drysaddle, and he feeds Bouchard at the point, who rips a one-timer and beats Corpusalo to give the Oilers some life and get them on the board. Then just a few minutes later, the Oilers are pressing again, McDavid forces a turnover from Doughty, and Hyman gets the puck behind the net. He mishandles it, but McDavid quickly gets the puck out to Drysaddle on the slot, who takes a quick shot and scores to bring the Oilers to within one. The Oilers would get a power play late in the period and they would capitalize on it. Bouchard goes over to Nugent Hopkins, who feeds Dreisaitl on the slot, and he once again fires a quick shot and beats Corpusalo to tie the game up at three. The Oilers went from playing their worst period of the series to their best. This is one of the reasons why I love playoff hockey. It's so unpredictable and you never know what's going to happen. We'll pick this one up early in the third where Deneau enters the Oilers zone, drops the puck to Arvidsson, and he finds a streaking Roy down the middle, who makes a quick move and beats Campbell to restore the Kings' lead. Later in the period, Deneau springs Arvidsson on a breakaway, but Campbell comes up with a massive save to keep this one tied. I gotta give huge props to Campbell here. He hasn't played all series, and he comes in for Skinner with his team down 3-0. I love how poised he was, and I thought he played really well. He deserves a ton of credit for this comeback win. Just two minutes later, McDavid gets the puck and enters the Kings' zone. He immediately attracts three players who all challenge him, which leaves Kane free on the wing. McDavid gets the puck over to Kane, and he rifles a beautiful shot past Corpusalo to tie the game up once again. Just 30 seconds later, with the Oilers pressing again, Corpusalo comes up with a big save of his own on Kane to keep this one tied up. The period comes to an end, and for the third time in four games so far in this series, we are heading to overtime. Just over midway into the first OT, Bouchard sends a long pass to Hyman on the wing. He has tons of space, so he skates in and fires a nice shot, which beats Corpusalo to complete the comeback and tie the series up at two apiece. This was an amazing comeback by the Oilers, and this was a really fun game to watch. I'm really happy they pulled this one out, as we are now guaranteed at least two more games out of the series. This has been the best series to watch so far in my opinion, and I can't wait for the next game. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.